All right, let me explain why putting panels east to west actually makes more sense. I get it. You're saying for off-grid, you want to maximize your power output. That's the most important thing. And I agree, but there's different ways to maximize your power output. Now, self-facing will give you more power, absolutely, per panel. But you can better optimize your system and generate more power overall for an off-grid system by going east-west. Now, here's the problem with just self-facing. It has to do with what they call this duct curve. So this little red line here is what your solar produces. That other line is your grid and power requirements. It kind of looks like a duck. See, most people use their power in the morning and in the evening, but with a self-facing array, you create all your power at lunch. Now, if you just got your house hooked up to the grid and you're just supplying a ton of power into the grid, net metering that, that might make sense for you financially. But if you're doing off-grid, you are your own grid, so you wanna make sure your grid is as stable as possible. All right, so let's say this line here is your total power consumption for the day. In the mornings and in the evenings, it's higher than it is for the rest of the day. Okay, now let's say you got a self-facing array. Your power is going to look something like that. And then what happens is you got to take all this excess stuff that happens around lunchtime, and you got to fill it in with batteries to give you that power consumption at this time. Oh yeah, self-facing is going to give you more out of your panels, but you're going to need to put in more panels to cover everything, and then you're going to need a larger battery bank. So you need more batteries to carry that over. Now the power curve for east-west orientation looks a lot more like this. That east sun, as it rises in the morning, is hitting the panels. It drops a little bit in the day, and then it comes back in the evening. So your power peak output is less in an east-west than it is in there, but it's more spread out through the day, which means with a self-facing array, you're going to get more power, but that also means more battery storage, and you need larger inverters. Going east-west means you can run a smaller battery setup. You can run smaller inverters, so it's cheaper because you're not hitting a peak output that... The inverter's got to handle all of that power. It's got to handle a lower, smoother power. So it saves money in the long run going east-west. And if you're already putting a rack up, it's not hard to just add panels onto the other side. Believe it or not, the panels are not the expensive part of a solar system. You got the rack there, just put panels on the other side, done. So by going east-west like this, that smoothing out of the duct curve is going to result in fewer batteries, smaller inverters, a cheaper cost overall, and a better uniform production of power. So I agree, if you're off-grid, you want the most out of your panels. But getting the most out of your panels means utilizing your panels in the most efficient way. If you use most of your power at breakfast and supper, why do you have your panels orientated to produce the power at lunch?